रज्जु रज्जु मीन्स स्नेक बेसिकली ओके रज्जु रज्जु मीन्स अ रोप रज्जु इज टेकन एज अ स्नेक ओके सो फोर रज्जु इज देयर पाद रज्जु अश्विनी असलेश मघा ज्येष्ठा मूला रेवती उरु रज्जु भरनी पुष्या पूर्व फलगुनी अनुराधा पूर्व शाड़ा उत्तरा भद्रा नाभी रज्जु कृतका पुनर्वसु उत्तर फलगुनी विशाखा उत्तरा शाड़ा पूर्वा भद्रा प्रत कांत रज्जु रोहिणी अद्रा हस्ता स्वाति श्रवण सत विशा शिरो रज्जु मृगाशिरा चित्रा धनिष्ठा रज्जु इज द साउथ इंडियन टेक ऑन नाड़ी सो नाड़ी हैव थ्री सेटअप रज्जु हैव फाइव सेटअप इफ बोथ द कपल इज हैविंग देयर नक्षत्राज इन द सेम रज्जु दिस रिजल्ट विल हैपन so one is having ashwini nakshatra another is having aslesha nakshatra pad rajju is happening they will live separately right in uru rajju there will be loss of wealth in nabhi rajju there will be loss of progeny problems related to health in kant rajju there will be demise or divorce in siro rajju also there will be demise and divorce so if both the kaval is having their nakshatra in the same set it is problematic right now in this particular thing i have written male nakshatra should be in arah female nakshatra should be in avroh what is arah you see it is going ashwini bharan aise nip samajh just a second yes sir ashwini bharni kritika rohini mrigashira adra punarvasu pushya aslesha मघा पूर्व फाल्गुनी उत्तर फाल्गुनी हस्तचित्रा स्वाति विशाखा अनुराधा ज्येष्ठा मूला पूर्वा शाणा उत्तरा शाणा सर्वंथ निष्ठा सद विशा पूर्व भद्राप्रद उत्तरा भद्राप्रद रेवती दिस इज अप इट इज गोइंग इन राइट अप डाउन अप डाउन अप डाउन अप डाउन अप डाउन दैट्स वाइट इज कॉल्ड स्नेक दिस इज द टेल यू आर प्लेड दैट गेम स्नेक दैट केम इन नोकिया फोन इन द स्टार्टिंग दिस इज दैट स्नेक द स्नेक now he is saying that the male person or say the dominant person should have their ascendant in aslesha pushya punarvasu adra jeshta anuradha vishakha swati or revati uttra bhadra purva bhadra sadvisha it is better female or the weaker horoscope should have ashuni bharni kritaka rohini mrigashira magha purva phalguni uttra phalguni hast chitra mula purva shada uttra shada sarvandh nishtha this is good this is what it means by aroh and avroh avroh is downward going avroh is going down aroh is going up right but this aroh avroh you can ignore also one should not have nakshatras in the same group is the basic point otherwise the snake of misfortune bites you right this is the basic point got it the next thing most important is ved nakshatra you know what does ved means ved means obstruction ved means obstruction in the, as a couple you should support each other but if a ved nakshatra is there then you are obstructing each other once again sanjay ji as i told you with respect to this uh Vashya. The same principle can be used in natal horoscope reading also separately as well. This is a matchmaking principle. Ashwini gives Veda to Jeshta, Bharni gives Veda to Anuradha, Kritika gives Veda to Vishaka, Rohini gives Veda to Swati, Adra gives Veda to Shravan, Punarvasu gives a Veda to Uttara Shada, etc., etc., etc. The list list is there in front of you. Technically, the nakshatras of the couple should not give Veda to each other. If they are giving, they are obstructing each other. right and this obstruction should not be there in natal horoscope it works in the same way right if you are having a planet in satvisha and you are having another planet in hasta they are obstructing each other so in this case what will happen suppose one is having mercury in hasta and mars in satvisha then in that particular scenario if you activate mars a lot your mercury mind will go for a toss your finances will come into a problem so if you have you know if the person goes into litigation 
proper activation of Mars, you should say that this person will be so disturbed by this litigation that he can lose his mental balance also, Mercury disturbed. He will, he can make bad statements, Mercury is disturbed, right? Comfort, etc. can go from his life, Mercury is disturbed. What the person should do, settle the court case as soon as possible. Don't go into fights because if you will go into fight, if Sadvisha Mars is activated, then Mercury in Hasta will come into problem. Say if this Mercury is sixth house lord and this Mars is a significator of sibling itself, Mars is in Sadvisha, Mercury is in Hasta, then if the person have a good relationship with their sibling or if the person interacts a lot with their sibling or if the person includes their sibling a lot in their life, it will negatively impact his marriage also. This way you will use it in natal charts and you should use it in natal chart. Very brilliant. In magic making how it is used that I told you. Ascendant nakshatra and moon nakshatra both should be checked. More importance we are giving to ascendant nakshatra. Right. So it is very simple. These couples should never marry. If your nakshatra is obstructing the nakshatra of the other person, don't marry. Please don't marry. Otherwise, there will be problems. If other gunas are present, then also don't marry because this Veda mismatch is not called dosham. Dosham means blemish. It is not called a dosham. It is called maha dosham. Supreme blessing. Only one nakshatra is excluded and that nakshatra you should never marry should never be in relationship with. Otherwise, anything can happen. Okay. Going further, there is no point system in South Indian matching as in North India. So point system is otherwise also useless. Every factor works differently that you will keep in mind. If So this was South Indian matching, short, simple, sweet. Right. Understood any questions? Oh, there should be no question. How to learn from basic Sabri's what? Sir, basics of astrology in the sense I don't know what attend, ascendant, everything. I don't know from the basic. I don't know where to start. You can take help of any student. Uh -huh. Okay. Fine, sir. If you ask the restaurant, you can answer what you can answer. Oh, okay. You can answer Mm. So, yes. so you can take help of any student, right? You are in the group. That is that is why I'm adding you in the group. These basic questions, if you are having how to find your ascendant, etc., you can take help of any student. They are mm. your, they are your, you know, they are your friends. You can take help. Oh. Okay. And if there is any Thanks. problem, you can ask me also. I am also there, mm. though not your friend, but there. <laughs> okay. As a trainer, it's a helpful for us. That's more than enough. Any uh, any software will tell you your ascendant nakshatra, moon nakshatra, etc. Right. So after this uh, South Indian matching, North Indian matching, South Indian matching is okay. Sorry, sorry, dear. Sorry, Shibumji, sorry to disturb. Just wanted to ask one uh, doubt which I was having since yesterday. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to clarify that doubt. So uh, primarily, as you have mentioned that the approach should be primarily ascendant with the other ascendant mm -hmm. and moon with the other moon. But yeah. for example, let's say that ascendant, ascendant, the matching is good, but somehow the moon, you know, is and the ascendant, the connection between the moon nakshatra or the ascendant nakshatra is not really good. 
uh, or coming under any uh, you know uh, bad tara or anything so in that case can we keep that as a secondary uh, point because since the uh, since we will actually be seeing the ascendant with the ascendant matching to be the priority right so yes, yes, yes. we can ascendant, do that right? ascendant is the priority if the moon is not matching it is okay 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 so that That's is fine okay. ascendant ascendant we are primarily dealing with. Okay, Shwati. Thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Uh, in this case, also see, ascendant is having all good matchings. Moon is also having almost all good matchings. Only one two major matching. Like ascendant should have hundred percent good matching. Moon should have at least forty percent good matchings that you can find. Even if sixty percent bad matching is there, but ascendant is having good matchings, it is fine. So at okay, Shwati. Ascendant is of at most importance. That is the thing. Even through the Veda, this Veda nakshatra, as you had already mentioned. Veda, you have to avoid. Veda, you have to avoid. For moon as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. In fact, I will tell you in this Veda point. No, I will. I will uh, deal about two other tables, right? This is Veda table one. There are two more tables are there, right? So using these three Veda tables, it is not only applicable on ascendant and moon. If you find a planet, suppose this planet is in this nakshatra, in the Uh, couples in the partner's horoscope, he is having another planet in the Veda nakshatra to this planet. Then these two planets come into Veda, and whatever is signified by this planet will be a problem in marriage. Right. So if the prop mutual Veda causing planet is the second lord, eleventh lord, fifth lord, fourth lord, then it is a very serious flaw in matchmaking. For example, you say tenth lord. Two planets are giving Veda to each other. In this, you know, when you take both the horoscope together, and this Veda giver is the tenth lord, that means to say that that profession will obstruct the happiness in your marital life. So here, marriage should be done only when the person is able to compromise in the professional aspect. If they are very much dedicated towards their profession, if they cannot compromise with their professional life, then they should not proceed with marriage. Otherwise, it will be problematic. So this Veda is so important that it can be applied with planet to planet also. Other than Veda, rest everything else can be ignored. So this Veda is vice versa, na? One ek kesa. Ha ya, direct and vice versa both. But this Hasta Veda is Veda to Sadrusha, Sadrusha gives Veda to Hasta. But this Veda is different than what we have learned in uh, Sarva Vad SBC. हाँ सर्वतो बद्र वेदा इज अनदर वेदा सो संजय जी प्रॉब्लम व्हाई द प्रॉब्लम इज हैपनिंग दिस वेदा इज नॉट इंक्लूडिंग अभिजीत अच्छा दैट वेदा विल इंक्लूड अभिजीत सो नक्षत्र सेटअप विल चेंज राइट टेबल बेस्ड वेदास आर डिफरेंट वेदास एंड अदर वेदास आर मैडम मानवी जी सर जस्ट कंफर्मेशन सो फॉर कंसेप्शन ऑफ चाइल्ड लाइक इफ द कपल हैज ऑलरेडी द चाइल्ड बर्थ इशूज एंड वी गेट समहाउ चाइल्ड मैच विद द महेंद्र सो दैट कैन बी टेकन केयर लाइक कैन बी या या देन द चाइल्ड बर्थ इज 80% श्योर सम रेमेडीज विल बी नीडेड एंड चाइल्ड बर्थ विल बी देयर दैट कैन बी टेकन थैंक यू सर so like ashwini and rohini if, if we are matching and mainly the for conception we should look at from the ascendant right ascendant yeah ascendant because it's a physical conception yeah it is physical okay and ascendant is more event and fortune one more thing there is madam this is the power of muhurt you know with muhurt anyone can have a child three four times you will have to try remedies plus muhurt anyone can have a child if mahendra is also matching then to i am 100% sure then there is no power which can stop the child if they want uh i i'll, I'll say i have witnessed because maybe that combination was not very positive and um, somehow now like me and my husband we both have mahendra like i am ashwini and he is rohini yeah so i i can see that it works yeah. yes thank you so much it I, i i would like to say this course is really good like it has answered many of my questions 
till now i was wondering why this is happening and why this is not happening in one class itself like 50% questions answered thank you so much this this is the dha thing you see let let's do this barni will give vedha to anuradha these two horoscopes i am checking kritika will give vedha to vishakha this moon in kritika is giving vedha to this moon in vishakha so vedha is happening let's do all the vedas first right this is male horoscope so i am taking basically taking male horoscope in the full front then uttar bhadraprad it will give vedha to purva falgun so no planet and purva falgun purva falgun is sun so uttar bhadraprad mars is giving vedha to purva falgun is sun so mars sun vedha is there let me write i will forget moon moon vedha is there mars sun vedha is there and revati is giving vedha to magha there is no planet in magha in the other horoscope purvashana will give uh, uh, vedha to pushya there is uh, pushya venus so jupiter venus vedha is happening just keep in mind over this jupiter venus okay after that ashwini jeshtha noveda and rohini swati there is uh, noveda as such and uttar bhadraprad with purva falguni purva falguni there was a planet yeah sun rahu sun and lastly uttra falguni uttra falguni will give uh, vedha to purva bhadraprad purva bhadraprad there is no planet okay so multiple vedhas are happening between moon moon the vedha is happening so the matching should not be there between mars sun the vedha is there remember sun is the fifth house lord between jupiter venus the vedha is there venus is sexuality jupiter is the significator for child and between rahu sun this vedha is happening rahu indicate immoral things and sun indicates ethicality right so this lady virgo ascendant was a widow right she married someone the marriage broke she became a widow she had a child from this first marriage then she came in relationship with this person aries ascendant person they both lived in relationship for some time eventually breaking up but while they were in relationship this guy of aries ascendant constantly humiliated raped tortured sexually molested the daughter of this lady virgo ascendant for multiple years at that time the daughter was 6 7 years old so the veda is really problematic very very problematic okay this is the horoscope of the child cancer ascendant we'll come to it right this is how it works okay madam example is clear yes sir thank you for the guy and the girl is there, is there, is there is any way the uh, relationship between the girl uh, the boy of the small girl and the father there is any vedas between each other there should be oh. there should be vedas between them two also them two also and generally you see if this vedha is affecting sun moon and if they are getting vedha from a malefic like rahu saturn mars then these things very often happen the vedha from good planets no jupiter venus this vedha of two good planets is more or more or less like you know like property they are you know problems in property problem in earning money 
obstructing the prosperity of each other, etc. When a major key planet like Sun Moon is getting Vedha from a malefic Rahu, etc., as it is happening in this case, Rahu, Saturn, Mars, then such immoral things, which you know, which if people know brings you shame, then such things start happening. Right. Now, after this, before I go to Kerala system. What happened over the time? You see, my first interest in the history of astrology, then practice of astrology, right? So when you look at history of astrology, over there were some, you know, other uh, methods of matchmaking advocated by our sages, which somehow is not mentioned in classics, but they were used at a point of time, right? They were not mentioned in classics, not because it does not work, but only because they did not want people to know about these very powerful principles, right? Of course, they are not writing the book for people like us. They are writing the book for their students only. So match advocated by Rishis. First is Bhudaling or another type of Yoni. So first setup. When you learned about Yoni, it was a particular animal, right? Yoni was being attributed to a particular animal. And that Yoni indicated financial prosperity. This Yoni is dependent on nakshatras. First of all, that Yoni was based on Rashi. This is based on nakshatras and it is male, female and eunuch. So Ashwini, Punar, Vasu, Pushya, these are the male nakshatras. Aslesha, Maga, Purva, Falguni, female nakshatras. Mrigashira, Mula, Satvisha are eunuch nakshatras. If a male person marries with a female of a female, uh, female yoni, there is gain of money. If both of female nakshatra marry each other, there is loss of money. If both of male nakshatra marry each other, there is troubles. If both of Unuch nakshatras marry each other, it is very good. If Unuch female marriages, uh, if a Unuch male gets married to a female born in female nakshatra, it is neutral. Right? This I will use for approach towards life. When you have resource, what is your approach? If both are male, they are destructive. They will put the resource on fire. If both are female, they will seldom use it. They will save the complete resource for later time. One is male, one is female. One is female, one is eunuch. One is male, one is eunuch. Both are eunuch. They know the balance. Good balance. So this setup you should go with. Both male is problematic. Both female they will never use. So it should be one male, one female. One male, one eunuch. One female, one eunuch. That is a best setup. Right. This is known as Bhutalinga matching. Sometimes Pranlinga matching. According to me, this is uni matching because this is dependent on uni. Gotra. Ashwini Pushya Swati Abhijit Nakshatra is ruled by Marichi. Sage Marichi. Bharani Aslesha Vishaka Shravar is ruled by Sage Vasist Kritika Magal Urada Danishta ruled by Sage Angira Rohini Purva Falguni Jishta Satvisha ruled by Sage Atri. Mrigashana Uttara Falguni Mula Purva Badraprad ruled by Sage Pulastya. Adra Hast Purva Shada Uttara Badraprad ruled by Sage Pulaha. And Punarvasu Chitra Uttara Shada Revati ruled by Sage Kratu. People being born in the same Gotra should not marry each other. Why? Because if you marry in the same Gotra, marriage in the same Gotra is prohibited. You know, incest. Same gender relationship. What is the problem with Sorry, incest is a relationship in family. What is the problem in relationship in family? With breeding in family, the coming generations become weak and weak and weak. Becomes very weak. And after four or five generations of interbreeding, children are physically, mentally very weak. 